Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, so basically we are back with another video, guys. And today, man, I thought we'd do something really fun. I thought I would act as the general manager, as the owner, as the coach for all of the Call of Duty League franchises and go through a what if scenario of what if we had a roster mania redraft heading into 4v4. This is gonna be more of a fun video where I'm just talking through what I would do, how I would build these rosters in a draft format and what this would potentially look like if there was a situation where we had a draft i couldn't imagine how hyped that would be obviously it's incredibly unrealistic at this point but maybe one day when there's more structure we'll be able to have drafts in call of duty and it'll be a blast but for now i am excited to do this in a fictional setting and see what teams we end up coming up with so let's get right into it let's go so here we've got the draft board we got all of the teams organized after their end of the season cod champs finish let's finally get this draft underway and with the first pick in the roster mania 4v4 redraft the dallas empire select none other than shotzi again we're going to be going kind of based off realism about what these guys might actually do and how these teams might actually draft and coming off of a modern warfare season with shotzi was this good there's no way that dallas passes up on their guy shotzi with a 101 pick in this draft next up is atlanta phase and no shocker as a general manager of atlanta phase i'm sitting there like all right we gotta take our guy we gotta take simp the man himself build our brand around what we've been doing this past year we were so good with simp and our team we're bringing it back running it back with simp in the squad he's going 102 and the huntsmen are on the board at 103 and they can kind of go two different ways with this they can go like utmost most talented player or they can go with the brand builder the king of cod scump and of course, that's what they're going to do. They're taking the man himself. So Scump finds his way off the board at 103, which means the London Royal Ravens are on the board now. And they have an interesting decision here. They can kind of, again, they're, they're kind of in the same boat. Brand building. Do they want to build their brand in a certain way? Or do they just want to try to win? And I think they're just going to try to win. And they're going to take the other half of the Tiny Terrors, a BZ. The first kind of switch up of our draft is a BZ going to the London Royal Ravens, which puts Optic on the board here at five. And there's a ton of really good options to choose from. But I think Optic's going to be sitting there. They're going to be wanting to run it up. They're going to be wanting to get that 100T vibes. And they're going to go a little bit of brand, a little bit of talent both ways. They're going to take Octane at the 105. It's a safe pick. It's hard to go wrong there. As a general manager of Optic, I think you're pretty happy with trying to build a team around Octane as your first round pick. So now the ultra are up. And again, you're trying to build a team here, you know? And so you need to pick a guy in that first round who guys are going to want to play with, guys who are going to be willing to, to move to that city or play for that team because of the guy who's on that team. Feels like our cities makes a lot of sense for the ultra. Anyone would be willing to play with the guy and he's insanely talented. I think it makes a lot of sense for Toronto to buy into Alec like that. Then you've got the mutineers up next and I think you got to go on, boy. So now you've got Envoy going at the 107. You're building a team around him, which I think is definitely possible to do at this point. And they're set up to have a pretty good roster overall. So New York is up next. I don't think it would be possible for New York to pass up on the talent of Selium at this point at the 108. Like you got to buy in at that point. And so New York is taking Selium and been building their team around that absolute stud. So Paris is now on the clock. They're going to go the brand building route. They're going to build around either Clay or around Slasher. Man, I think it's a tough situation. Right now, Slasher is kind of the more inherently talented player, but Clay is a winner. Clay has done his thing, and I think Clay, because of his brand and how popular he is in the scene, Legion will kind of use that as a tiebreaker, and they select Clay at the 109 to build his squad. And again, this is a snake draft, by the way. So basically, you get Shotzi, and then it comes back. So the Surge are going to have two picks in a row here at the end. So that's why they're hoping to grab Clay, the leader because they assumed he would have got picked in these last next six. And then they'll pick the SMGs to build around him in the next few picks here. So now the Rocker are on the board. I think like Slasher, Dashy, Priesta, Hook, Gunless, Krim, they all make a lot of sense. If you're the Rocker, you're going to play for the upside here and then see who comes back to you in the second round. I mean, realistically, you'd expect, you know, a leader type player plus an SMG to come off the board here in the next picks with, with LAG and Surge. So I think you pick your SMG first here and then you see what's going to be left there. So, so I think you're looking at like probably Hook or Priesta and I wouldn't be surprised if Hook comes off the board here to the Rocker and they are pretty happy with Hook at the 110 spot. Now the Gorillas are at 11 and at this point you're looking for like maybe Slasher, Priesta, Gunless, Dashy, Krim. There's a lot of really, really good options. Even some guys down here. Again, you know, it's stacked at the top in the CDL. 
with so many talented players. Man, I think LAG is going to go the Crim 6 route. They're going to try to build their brand around Crim. And they know that a really talented player is going to be there in the second. So they're still feeling good about the chances of getting that brand builder and then pairing him with a really talented player in the second round as well. So now Seattle's sitting here with their pick of the litter. I think Slasher makes a lot of sense to pair with Priesta. So you got Slasher and Priesta as your kind of core here for the Surge. And then they'll come back here at the end of the third and the beginning of the fourth with their next two picks. Now you're LAG and you've got Krim. I think you're looking at like Illy here, man. Illy makes a lot of sense. He's coming off the board here at the 202. Because again, you're pairing that duo together with who played together last season. And you're building that roster around Krim and Illy. An old vet, a young Wiley rookie. I think that's a really, really fun core to build around if you're LAG. Then you've got Hook and The Rocker right now looking for their next piece. I think if you're here, it's going to be hard to pass on a guy like Dashy at this point in the draft. He's popular. People like him. And you get to pair him with Hook. Have a star-studded youth roster off the rip for The Rocker. That is a really fun team so far. So now Paris is on the board with their captain, Clay, their brand builder, Clay. You need a, you need a younger, cracked-out SMG-style player to pair with Clay. I realized I made a grave mistake and you guys were all probably screaming the past like five minutes that formal was still on the board and you are right. That was outrageous. I got to sub this out. So this is what's going to happen here. We're making a little bit of a pivot here. We're going to put formal on the Legion and we're putting clay on the LA gorillas, which means Krim is still on the board. So we got clay and Illy now and Krim is still on the board. I could see them taking slasher over Krim here and building around Priesta. So Krim is still on the board. We're gonna keep him on the board for now, but that is my bad. Formal should have been off the board at that point. My bad. So now if you're Paris, I think you're trying to decide like, all right, how do you wanna take this now? I think Attach makes a lot of sense here. You pair Formal and Attach, you've got a nice brand there. You've got a really fun loving team, a team that people are gonna really like, and you're set up to be a pretty good team moving forward into this draft. I think they're in really, really good shape. I like that squad so far. So then if you're New York now, you've got Cell, and now you've got some of your guys still on the board. I think you've got to take Zuma. If you're New York, coming off of a good season with him there already, and you pair Cell and Zuma in New York, that's fire. That's a great start already for New York as well. Now you're the Mutineers. You've got Envoy, and you're looking for more. I think you're looking to pair Skies with Envoy at that point. Now they're pairing one of their guys with Envoy as well, building that brand. I think that makes a lot of sense, man. That makes a lot of sense. And that's a really, really fun start to the team as well. So now the Ultra on the board here with the seventh pick of the second round. And they've already got Arcity. So they're looking for like a little bit of a faster paced player to pair with them. Kenny and Pharaoh got to go off the board here. Maybe Gunless. You could see that happening as well. That wouldn't be crazy either, man. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to have Gunless and Arcity's team again now on the ultra which is a really really fun start to that team as well so now you've got optic gaming this is an easy kenny pick here you've got octane and kenny that they are now teaming together that's a fun team to start things off and now you're london you've got a bz none of the uk players have gone off the board yet and you're feeling pretty good about one getting back to you here in the third so maybe you wait on a uk guy and you pair pharaoh with a bz a nasty duo off the rip here for the London Royal Ravens. That's a scary start for the rest of the league. So I think we see our first UK player come off the board here. Scraps is going to pair with Scump in the second round. It's a weird pick. I know Krim's still on the board, but there's a little bit of beef there. I'd be a little bit worried about that duo of Scump and Krim after last year and how it ended. So now we're going in. I know I know Hex has talked about Scraps and how much he loves him. I could see Scump and Scraps kind of duoing like that in some way. That'd be really, really fun. And I think we create for a really cool roster. And now FaZe is sitting here with Simp. And they're going to have two of the next four picks here. This is interesting because they could go like a lot of different directions with, with how they want to build their roster. So they would have to assume that Krim is going to get taken by Empire. So maybe you look at Krim here and take Krim before Empire can if you're interested in trying to do that. But I don't feel like FaZe would be as much even though the brand is definitely there for Krim which would be really really nice. For them as a whole but i think you're looking at major maniac you're looking at a guy like temp you know maybe Krim, maybe waskins maybe mac at this point tige dylan like these are some interesting names that you could kind of try to pair 
with simp and make a really nasty squad which i could see working for sure kleenex is also kind of an option as well so there's a lot of different ways they could potentially go here it doesn't really feel like there's an obvious option outside of maybe major maniac where they double down on that so i think we're going to safe route and take major maniac here in a second make sure they secure their guy maintain that chemistry from the year before and phase is set up in a pretty good spot to snag a really good player here in the third as well so dallas is hyped that crim six got back to them they're beyond hyped that crim six fell they're they're flipping out the city is rejoicing there's parades in the streets you've got shotzi you've got crim you're looking for maybe like a flex or someone that can do both so i think they're gonna take a chance on mac here in the third and go shotzi crim mac rounding out their first three picks here heading into phase here the second pick of the third round they're like trying all these guys out simp would be like yo i want kleenex on my team so they're gonna take kleenex ahead of guys like temp cami dylan wuskin tige some really good names there because of the upside that kleenex has in a black ops cod so the huntsmen are on the board here they have scump and scraps this is actually really, really interesting. I didn't really plan for this to play out, but I could see a world where then they would draft Wuskin. I mean, that could make a lot of sense. I mean, maybe you consider, depending on how they feel about Awakening, you know, uh, Apathy's here as well. God RX, of course, Cami, you know, Alex, Methods. There's some interesting guys here, and I wouldn't be surprised with any of those picks as a whole. I think realistically, it's between Tiege, Methods, Wuskin, dylan probably for this pick here and the management's gonna go with the content route they're gonna take methods as the man here so now we've got a scump scraps method just the content squad for the huntsman one of the i didn't think this was gonna happen that was a really weird squad for the huntsman but a lit squad talk about the content squad i mean that team would be so fun to watch scrim holy moly so now we got london on the board I think they're either going Wuskin or they're going Dylan. They have two, you know, SMG, a flex. They're going to go Wuskin here to round out, give themselves that guy they need, the main AR to do his thing. Wuskin is on the London Royal Ravens. So now you're sitting here, Opti Gaming. Tiege is on the board, which is interesting. Temp is on the board. Dylan, you got Cami. Yeah, apathy is interesting as well i could see any of those guys getting the green light here and after some contemplation they're gonna go with temp and that's gonna be quite the squad of personalities with kenny with octane and temp that's a blast for opti gaming so far and definitely a high upside talent squad to say the least now the ultra on the board they've got rcds they've got gunless i realistically i could see apathy making a lot of sense here and i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna have them taking apathy here our cities gunless and app to round out their three so far for the for the ultra and now the mutineers are on the board pristini still on the board as well you've got havoc you've got frosty you've got some of the younger smgs like a sim you've got alex as well awakening accuracy and then you've got like the younger guys like hollow draza god rx is still on the board dens is on the board that's interesting assault is interesting as well even guys like silly you know, there's some good players up on the board that can be very valuable to a team. And so now you've got Envoy, you've got Skies. You're looking for an SMG here. I think Tiege could make a lot of sense on this roster. Pristini could make some sense on this roster. But let's go with Tiege to kind of go to that Mutineers team and make some magic happen there. So now you're the New York Subliners. You've got Cell, you've got Zuma. You're looking for some upside, maybe a sniper, maybe an SMG that could work as well. Dylan, I think could really work well here, but I could see them going skies and awakening here because they're looking to grab their guy. They believe in him. Envoys would be like, yeah, I'm down. I mean, awake was nasty last year and they're gonna go with Envoy, skies and awakening to round out their team of three so far. That's a definitely a talented three to say the least so now the new york subliners are up and they've got cell they've got zuma they're probably looking for an smg here maybe a flex depending on what they want to do here i feel like tiege could make a lot of sense dylan could make some sense as well um i'm gonna go tiege so tiege gets the gets the pick here you got cell you've got zuma you've got tiege as your team of three so far and then you've got formal and attach on paris looking for their next guy again you're looking for an smg here dylan could really make a lot of sense here to help that team out that is lit. I love that a lot. So now you're the rocker. You've got Hook. You've got Dashy. So you've got your main AR. You're looking for like an SMG, maybe a flex. And Alex is still on the board, and that could definitely work out. Cami is still on the board, and that could work out as well. 
Both of those could make a lot of sense, but I think they're going to go with Alex. The upside of the SMG pick their guy who was on the rocker last year. Alex is there. Hook, Dashy, Alex. That's a really interesting, weird team to say the least. LAG's up next. Now you've got Clay, you've got Illy on that squad. You're looking for some pristine action with the SMG in hand. That's going to fit pretty nicely, I think, overall with that team. I like that a lot. So now you've got Slasher and Priesta. Ideally, you get an SMG here, but Cami is still on the board. And I feel like you've got to go Cami's route there in the third. And they're coming back here with their last pick of the draft. I could see a Sim making sense. Hollow and Draza are still on the board. Silly, Assault, Dens. Accuracy, God RX, but let's say they go with a sim. And so you have a really weird roster of Slasher, Priesta, Cami, and a sim. That is a interesting team to say the least. And I'm kind of about it. I, I, I mean, I, I'm in. Why not? I am in. LAG looking for their fourth as well to round out their team. Clay, Illy, and Priesta. I could see Silly making some sense here. You go Silly, Clay, and Pristini, and you kind of have that E United squad. That's kind of fun. And why not? We'll do it. I am about it. That's a fun team for LAG. Now you've got Hook, Dashy, Alex looking for a fourth. You're probably looking for a flex, and you're the rocker. Let's give them God RX. You got God RX, Alex, Dashy, and Hook for that rocker squad. That's a really fun team as well. Then the Legion are here now, and you've got Formal, you've got Zuma, you've got Dylan. And I think they have a lot of flexibility with where they want to go with this one. I think you may be trying to pair a guy like Jurd onto this team with the Legion. So you've got Jurd, you've got Dylan, you've got Attach, you've got Formal. That's a fun squad. That could definitely work as well. And I kind of like how the roles play out there too. That's fun. That's fun. And so they got New York now with Cell, Zuma, and Tej. You're probably looking for a main SMG, maybe a flex. Or you could go AR if you want to let Celium run a flex. That's possible as well. So maybe you go the accuracy route. Maybe you go the assault route. But I'd be surprised about that at this point. So I wouldn't be surprised if they end up drafting accuracy here as the main AR. Then you have the main SMGs with Zuma and, and Tej. And then you let Cell flex and kind of go that route. That could work. And I think that could be a really good team as well. So that's pretty fun. So now you've got the Mutineers, Envoy Skies, Awakening. And uh, you're probably looking for an SMG here, a main SMG, which there aren't very many left on the board. So you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Maybe you just go Havoc again and you get the three plus Envoy. That'd be interesting. And let's do that. So we got, we got Skies, we got Awake, we got Havoc, we got Envoy. Havoc will make it work. It'll, it'll be fine. And that's kind of what their roster is going to be. It's all right. I think I like that team overall. And then now Ultra looking for their fourth as well. You're probably looking like a flex route here, I would imagine, but you could maybe go SMG. You could also go main AR and then have RCD's flex, but I feel like RCD's wants to play main AR. So let's have them go the zero route and just load up on SMGs and kind of go from there. I think that's a really, really fun team. A lot of slaying upside with that team to say the least. So now we got Optic, we got Octane, we've got Kenny, we've got Temp, and Draza and Hollow are still on the board at this point, and I could see Draza being the guy so you bring in Draza as that fourth. That's a fun team. And if they can maintain composure, they're going to be nasty to say the least. So now you've got the London Royal Ravens. You got a BZ, you got Pharaoh, you got Wuskin. You're looking for a, probably an SMG, but you could make things work in other ways. Maybe you go the Zed route and you just kind of play off of Zed like that. Maybe Kismet. Vivid is definitely an option as well. Let's give him Vivid. Why not? I think that could work well with Pharaoh and with Abizi. You have Pharaoh, Abizi, Vivid, and Wuskin. That's a fun team for London to have and could definitely work out well. So now we've got the content squad. We got the Huntsman. We got Scump, Scraps, Methods, and we're looking for a fourth, probably a flex at that point. So we're kind of looking around and there aren't that many great options here. Cause there's like, you know, there's the main ARs of like Dens and Assault left. You've got like guys like Classic, maybe Vance, you know. Frosty's a little interesting at least. I could see that happening. So let's throw Frosty on that squad and see what happens. It's a really weird squad. Scump, Scraps, Methods, Frosty. I don't know how I feel about it, but it's at least interesting and uh, is a fun one. So now you've got Simp, you've got Cami, you've got Major Maniac. And I honestly don't even know what they would do here. This would be a weird pick to say the least. Let's give him a veteran on that team. Let's give him a Nable. Why not? Let's give him a Nable. Simp, Major, Cami, a Nable. And that's their squad. 
it's a fun one. Let's let's just full send with it. Now we got Empire with the Mr. Irrelevant, the last pick of this draft. We got Shotzi, Krim, Mac, and a fourth, preferably a flex. Let's just give him Draza, and that's the team. Bang. Why not? I could see that happening. And there's your squads, boys. There's all 12 with a roster mania redraft 4v4. It was an interesting one. I think it was really fun playing with building these rosters. It gets tough there when you're trying to like fit those pieces into place with the personalities that you already have on the team. Obviously, this could go a million different ways. So uh, drop your comments down below. What team do you think is the best? What team would win the CDL with roster mania redraft like this? Where would you be at? What team do you like the most? Which team do you like the least? Which is most likely, which is least likely, and uh, where are we at with it? But as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, favorite, subscribe if you guys did. And as always, I'm your boy, So Easily, and we will see you next time. I'm out.